Hello, welcome to the Matthew Walton Art Channel again. Today I'm going to do another one of the uh, photos of the models that I took and have been using recently for some um, male nude life drawing. This one is a lying down pose, so a bit different to what I've been doing recently. I'm going to be using the uh, mechanical pencils again. Um, the Nick Pro pencils. I'll put a link to them on the video description for those of you that are interested in buying them. I'm going to try and take my time again, so you know, be a bit more polished if I can, like I have been recently. So let's see how I get on. Well, I'm starting with the arm. This is actually the second time I've started. I didn't think you would uh, want to see me half, well, more than half draw it and then erase it all. So yeah, I started with the arm. I've erased this arm again, as you've just seen. Difficult to get this pose in, in an A4 sheet, and I actually failed to do it in the end. So the feet dangle off, well, one of the feet dangles off the edge. Now moved on to the head. Put some detail in, but just enough to sort of show the angle. It's quite a difficult pose this, lying on his back with his arm up and a, a pronounced twist on the body which I've got to get right. So you can see I've, I'm trying to put reference points in like the nipples and the, the belly button there. And you can see I've changed the height of the belly button slightly. So I'm doing those cross checks that I've mentioned before. So. The, the nipple is in line horizontally with the, the belly button. You can see that I've drawn a, a faint horizontal line at the top of the head and the top of the breast there as well. That's just again for reference to get the pose accurate. With a pose like this, there's, there's quite a lot of fine tuning to get the actual angles right. It really does force you to look at the angles, proportions, those sorts of things, because it's not as you'd expect the body to look. Quite an uncomfortable pose, really. Uh, so, so the, the end result looks a bit uncomfortable, but foreshortening on that um, thigh is pronounced. You can see that I'm using two thicknesses of. Uh, mechanical pencils on this drawing, the thinner lead and, and a thicker lead as well. And I'm using them from the side again. If you use um, pencil or, or um, graphite on its side like that, you've got much better control of the, the amount of pressure that you can put on. It seems to work quite well. very subtle shadows that have to sort of indicate the twist on the body. The shoulders are flat flat on the, the mattress pretty much, whereas of course the, the stomach is rotating round because the pelvis is up in the air. Certainly practicing put these these hands recently. Not too bad so far. If you notice I'm trying to shade in the direction of the shape of the leg, which helps give the impression of the roundedness of the form. You 
you'll see quite a lot of attempts to get this face right throughout the drawing. Of course, it's quite difficult because um, you literally are looking to see everything in minute detail. There's certainly no imagining of where anything is because the, the face isn't upright as you would normally see it. A lot of people, when they're drawing portraits, turn their portraits upside down to see mis mistakes with their work. It's very easy to draw what you think should be there rather than what actually is there. Um, and of course, when you're looking at a, a head that's at a weird angle like this is, um, you certainly aren't drawing what you think should be there because you're not sure what's there so you really do have to do it from observation and you can see that I've moved the eyes around quite a lot struggling with the nose because you're almost looking up at the nose on this pose really which is an unusual angle to be drawing it at Tiny drawing again, it's on an A4 piece of paper in the sketchbook, another sketchbook page filled. Still not going to get there though as I've got about two days left of this year. Adding shading using the side of the, the lead. It's a bit of a shame that even on this second attempt I've failed to draw it so that the actual top leg won't fit the, the, the foot in. The bottom leg just about fits in. Hey ho! Cynics amongst you would say I've done it to everybody because I don't like drawing feet. Maybe there's some truth in that, I don't know. Now just trying to put in some of the shadows behind the body here, the lights coming in from the left. Those will darken up as I actually add more of the background. I wanted to put some of the background in. Supposed to be a more finished piece. And a quick hour sketch. The whole thing took just over two hours, this one, um, partly because I did it twice. Difficult foreshortened foot as well. Not only is it a foot, which I hate, it's a foreshortened foot. I come up with something I think that looks foot like ish. If you look at um, the foot, it's much bigger than you perhaps imagine it would be compared to the head, which is quite small actually, and that, that sort of the perspective there helps you, helps the pose, because the head is quite a lot further away than the foot, which is the nearest thing to us on this drawing. Just trying to indicate the shadows now on the mattress. And also trying to get some of the folds on the, the, the mattress, and the sheet on the mattress. Just indicating those, um, it is the figure that's the important thing in this drawing. So it becomes a bit more scrubby. Let's 
See, I'm just tinkering with shadows now. Observing, re-tinkering. As I've said before, slightest mark can make a massive difference on a drawing of this size. Now some of those folds in the infamous back cloth. Again, just indicating those. I don't really want them to be the focus of the, the drawing at all. Doing some darkening of the far side of the torso there, just to give the impression of the light grazing the body, really. And we're pretty much there. This is the final drawing. Um, overall, I'm quite pleased with it. Um, the, the, the top thigh is possibly a little fat. Um, and maybe the bottom thigh is a little thin. Um, possibly. But overall, I'm quite pleased with the, the, the capture of the pose generally. Quite a difficult pose to do, as I said. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video anyway. Um, if you did, then give it a thumbs up. That's always helpful for the channel. Uh, and if you're new here and you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing. That will really help me grow. Um, and of course, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I do new videos. I'm trying to do them as regularly as I can, two or three a week at the moment, partly because I'm off work um, as it's Christmas. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks, bye.